Hey there everyone, <clears throat> Paradise Gamer 13 here, and we'll be continuing with part 3 of my Let's Play Paper Mario series. So, as you can see, we um, are using the hammer to break that yellow block finally, so we can finally uh, head over to towards Toad Town and eventually shooting Star Summit. Uh, there we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulties, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. That's pretty much, I think, all he has to say. Pretty much all we can do here right now, I believe. Um, as you can see, there's a sign right here. If you hit A on the sign, um, some message about, yeah, beware of Goombas will pop up. And basically, it will come to life and attack you. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't get a first strike off there. But it doesn't matter because, um, he talks more about tutorial stuff. You can switch with Z, who you want to attack first. Uh, like I said, the Goombas are easy enough that it really doesn't matter who you use. Because um, uh, both you and Gumbario will do one point of damage and can defeat it in one turn before it can even get an attack off. So that's kind of nice. Oh, by the way, I did go to the uh, Toad House um, in between episodes here. And I, mean, I didn't get a power. <laughs> or, I mean, eh, first strike again. Um, this time there's two, though. Mm. So it looks like we're going to take just one thing of damage this time. Not a big deal, though. Well, I guess we would have anyways, regardless of if we, if we would have gotten the first strike or not. Um, it's just kind of nice to get anyways, though. You know, it gets you an extra damage point in there, you know. It didn't use up a turn. Um, you know, like I'm just kind of going through these battles, getting some star points. We should be getting a lot here uh, shortly. Ah, oh, I missed again! <laughs> uh can't believe my, uh, it's, it's been quite a while since I've played this game, which is surprising considering the fact how much I love it, but, um, nonetheless, like I said, <laughs> it, I'm definitely a bit rusty. <laughs> um, unfortunately, like, you can't really do anything when they're attacking you, I mean, but, like I said, it, it only does one point of, uh, damage, so, you should be able to survive, <laughs> um, at least until... You, uh, we get to a heart block somewhere around here. I guess, oh, it's that coin. Um, let's see what's in these. Oh, there's nothing in that one. I feel like there's a, like a hidden one around here. Let's see. Oh, I finally got the first strike. I wasn't even, well, I was kind of going for it, but I was mainly just looking for the, the a, uh, a hidden block. I thought there was one around there, but I'm not, not 100% sure. Maybe there's not. Um, Paragoombas, though. Yeah, so you just can't use your hammer. Not a big deal, though, like I said. Um, but, yeah. So, after this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue looking, see, make sure there's uh, not a hidden block there. There may or may not be, like I said. I don't I don't know for certain. I feel like there should be or something. No, I guess not, maybe. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess, obviously, I was just imagining things. Um... Hammer. Yeah, make sure you, if you uh, do the first strike on him, make sure you use the hammer. Also, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, also, oh, Goombario, uh, if you attack the um, spiked Goomba with Goombario, he'll get paralyzed uh, because uh, your partners obviously don't have uh, HP in this game um, like they do in like Thousand Year Door. Um, so they'll just get like paralyzed and won't be able to attack. Which isn't that big of a deal again for the Goombas, but, you know, later on. Oh, this, uh, usually like the yellow boxes have like items or coins in them. Um, these red ones though, I believe, Oli's, if I'm not mistaken, have a badge in them. And this one is Close Call. So when you're in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Which is pretty nice. And we might as well just go ahead and equip that. Uh, since, like I said, we have two badges and we have... Well, after this, we just have one BP left, but that's not a problem because, you know, they only benefit you at this point. I'm trying to think here. Uh, eat a mushroom to regain your energy. I believe this will give you a mushroom. There is a sign later on that also has a picture of a mushroom, or I believe that one, um, if you go up and read it, it will turn into a Goomba, and uh, the Goomba will come after you. But I think this one is the actual mushroom. I could be wrong, though. Um, yep, yeah, that's just the actual mushroom. So, um... You know, obviously, if you want to avoid as many fights as possible, 
don't read the first sign, read this middle one, and don't read the last one, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm not really avoiding any fights. Ooh, three, uh, Paragumbas, huh. That's, like, uh, the most we've seen so far. Um, like I said, if you want to avoid fights or whatever, that's fine. But, I mean, really, these are just so easy that you might as well just go ahead and, uh, do them. You know, later on, sometimes I'll avoid fights because, uh, they can get repetitive or whatever. Let's see if our, uh, close call badge will kick in here. Um, within the next turn. Let's see if, like, any of their attacks miss. You know, I don't know exactly what the percentage of that is. But, um, really, we're not in any... Oh, see? Lucky. Alright. You know, at this point, like I said, there's really no harm to having, like, all these bad... Well, just the two badges equipped so far, because that's only two we, uh, we've gotten. But, really no problem. Um, yeah, see, there's a health box thing right there. And that's because we're going to be fighting, um, a couple tougher enemies than just your regular Goombas. So, um, hopefully, though, like I said, we got a couple mushrooms by now. We should be able to handle it. Um, hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you, suspicious guy. Don't move. Aha, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my Red Brother. So as you can see, we're going to be fighting the Red and Blue Goombas. And, I'm trying to think here. I believe the Blue one is weaker, so we might want to go after him first. Uh, could use the Fire Flyer here. Don't really need to, though, I guess. I uh, didn't mean to do that again. <laughs> um... Let's go ahead and power it. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. We can always restore our FP after this uh, fight. Um, like, I could... Try to think. Yeah, we might as well go ahead. I think, because uh, if you use Tattle on them now, it'll carry over to the next fight. We're, we're going to end up actually fighting them again. Um, so, yeah, he only has 6 HP. And I believe his brother has at least 7, maybe 8. Um... Yeah, it, it even says right there that he's the weaker one. Mario, how'd you like some of this? <laughs> and you can see, their attacks just do the same as a regular Goomba. It's just that there's two of them. Um, so they are not as big a deal. Two power jumps will take him out, obviously, which is nice. Um, you see, we got we got ten star points just for him. So I, I think we'll probably get another ten for him. So we should grow a level here shortly, um, in the near future. Blue, Blue Goomba. Yeah, my little brother. You'll pay for that, Mario. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't make, um, uh, make, uh, Blue Goomba green. <laughs> since, oh, I guess it's only seven. I thought maybe it was eight. But, uh, you know, since he's the little brother, kind of like, uh, Mario and Luigi. I'm pretty sure Luigi's the younger brother, I think. <laughs> I guess I'm not 100% certain of that. But, you know, the red Goomba is obviously red, kind of like Mario. But, um, yeah. Oh yeah, we can't use uh, Power Jump anymore, because we don't have enough FP, but that's not a problem, really. Like I said, it's just one on two now, basically. And he only does one, uh, one uh, HP of damage each time, so... Not a problem. Let's see, how many... We have 63 star points, so we'll have like 80-ish, I guess. And um, there is a rather large mini-boss coming up against... Uh, the Goomba King, as uh, they hinted towards um, before the fight. And um, so, yeah, we should have enough uh, star points after this fight, between this fight and the uh, Goomba King fight, um, to go up a level, I would think. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you go for now. So, easy enough. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and heal up. I recommend you do the same, just because I'm guessing you probably don't have full health, or full FP for that matter. Um, let's see, the, oh, save block. I thought there was a, yeah, I thought there was one around here. So that's nice too, might as well. Um, again though, this, you know, this early in the game, the fights aren't that, uh, oh yeah, I forgot. See, there is a Goomba, this is actually not a mushroom, so if you read it, it'll flip over to a Goomba. However, I believe that is the only 
No, maybe not. I'm pretty sure there's isn't. No? That is the only enemy between here and the Goomba Fortress. So you may, if you, you know, are desperately wanting those star points, you may want to come back after the, the Fortress battle. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip him. Let's see. The, yeah, Goomba King's Fortress ahead. All right, so we're just going to go on over here. Pretty happy. It's only been about ten minutes right now, and looks like I'm gonna get to finish the uh, um, get the Goomba King battle in before the next part. So that should be nice. Uh, King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up. <laughs> hey, look, Mario! See that stone building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. So Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Actually, this music's pretty catchy, I'm not gonna lie. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Not one step. Are you scared, little man? Bah ha ha. You're, yeah, you're scared, all right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is a really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario? You better be. All right, so this is basically more or less the mini-boss, I guess. Um, yeah. Not too difficult, though. Um, <laughs> even though he looks quite big, obviously. Um, as you see, I'm I'm not reading exactly what Goombario says, but basically he says, um, something about the Goomba Brothers being weird. As you see, yeah, so Tal did carry over. They only have two HP left, it looks like, each, because, um, they're still weak from having just fought. Obviously, they didn't, um, recover like we did. <laughs> so... First thing you're going to want to do to just, like, really help yourself uh, out and wipe out the uh, Goomba Brothers quickly is I think you can either jump or use the hammer, but I just use the hammer anyways just to be safe. And if you um, hit the control stick left, you'll actually target the uh, that little bandaged area of the tree, the Goomnut tree. And if you select that, if you look, there's, like, that giant, uh, well, I think it's a Goomnut, I'm guessing. <laughs> Although it didn't look anything like the Goomnet that we uh, picked up earlier. It'll actually fall and damage all three of them, which is kind of nice. And I believe it should wipe out the Goomba Brothers in, <laughs> in just one turn. So that's the first step we're going to do here. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, take them both out. So that's nice. I only mean, got four star points from that time. Then I'm going to go ahead and use Tattle on the Goomba King just to see exactly how many... Uh... Yeah, he only has ten. Um, is, I think his attack, yeah, I think it said his attack was only one, too. Although, oh, I was kind of hoping maybe he wouldn't use that right away. Well, I mean, that does, too. I guess it's not that big a deal. Basically, now, you just power jump him uh, a couple times. Um, you should be able to beat him here in the next couple turns. You can only use that Goomnut tree attack once. Um, just like you can only use it once. Or that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do power jump. Or I guess you can still attack the Goomnut, although I don't think it'll do anything, because the Goomnut is gone. But yeah, you see, <laughs> that was pretty easy. Just took us, what, three turns? And, um, see, we grew a level. Um, so, whenever you grow a level, I might as well go ahead and explain this here um, briefly. You can choose between HP, FP, and BP. FP and HP will go up five, BP will go up three. Um, usually, this early on, mm, I would either select HP or FP, because we don't have that many badges, so it'd be kind of pointless. Um, to be honest, uh, um, you know, to be honest, I don't use like that many badges per se. Um, I I do more so later on, um, but for now I'm just gonna go with HP. I've always been more of an HP kind of guy as opposed to FP, but you can go with FP as well because it, it's also pretty helpful. Uh, let's see here. Wh wh what? How could I lose? <laughs> they just they just running away. Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool. Victory. Yeah. Alright, I believe... Is there a star piece in here? I think? Or yep, yep. Got a star piece. Okay, my screen is like... 
flashing weirdly. <laughs> Don't know what that's all about. Um, let's see here. Oh, yeah. We just grew a level. Of course we have full health. So we don't need to go back to that thing. Um, let's see here. I'm getting fairly close to where I want to cut it off now. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this little part, though, before moving on to part four. So basically, if you um, press A on this bush, a switch will pop out. And, well, I'll go ahead and do it here. Yep, see. And um, actually, if you either, you know, as Gumbardo said, he said something about, like, a bridge. You were remembering a bridge being here before. And um, if you talk to the Goomba King through the, or not talk to him, I guess, but eavesdrop in on the conversation, they'll say something, I think, in uh, regards to this switch or whatever. And um, basically, though, you want to press it because it will actually uh, create the bridge again. And, um, yeah, kind of a little entertaining cutscene will ensue, as you will see here. Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however... If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You what? You already pressed it? <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> like I said, um, this short cut scene will uh, show and the bridge will um, be remade and allow you to pass into Toad Town, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. <laughs> that was easy enough. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Um, this coin, or I mean, this uh, tree might have a coin, I believe. But that is, yeah, just a coin. Um, I believe there might be. Uh, well, I guess that's it. I think, yeah, I think we play as Peach next. So this seems like a good part to, or a good point to cut off for the next point. Yeah, this is pretty good. Um, yeah, so this is where I'll cut off point three. Um, as you can see, it, it definitely picked up a little bit, you know, with the mini boss fight. It's pretty easy so far. That's kind of the nice thing about um, Paper Mario, though, is like you don't have to be like really good at RPGs or anything, or like you know, used to playing this stuff, because it's very simplistic and it, it does a good job of really like you know introducing. Um, players who are, you know, like Mario fans who generally aren't no, uh, used to <laughs> playing RPGs and stuff. So, um, yeah, like I said, the next part, I believe, will we'll be playing as Peach. Um, and I don't know how much farther I'll get uh, past that, maybe into, like, Toad Town and doing some stuff in there a little bit. But uh, for now, like I said, this is where I'm going to go ahead and cut off part three. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching. Thank you.